We want to honor God because He sees everything. You were born with a plan and a purpose. He's the God of all things possible. He's the God of all miracles. Grace, Grace with Nina Michelle. I'm Michelle Humphreys. And I am Nina Keegan. Welcome to the broadcast today. Today we have an important scripture. I just ran across this and I love when God does that and I'm sure I've read it before. Name a word from God. <laughs> but then it's like, what? Look at this. And so it says, by the truth and do not sell it by wisdom and instruction and understanding. And that's Proverbs 23, 23. So buy the truth and do not sell it. And I just, I so that just resonates with me because right now we are just standing in such a divided, crazy world, a nation right now where it's hard to know what the truth is. Right. And, but when we know that Jesus is the truth. You know, he's the way, the truth, the light, yes, that, 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 that the truth will set you free, mm -hmm. then we need to buy it. Amen. And, and I'm not talking on discount or on some <laughs> sale. We need to make sure exactly. we have this truth that we bought it and we are not letting it go. Amen. This is important, especially for such a time as this, don't you think, Michelle? It's crazy Absolutely. what's happening. So we, we need to have the truth in us. We sure do. And, you know, the Bible talks about the pearl of great price, you know, that uh, a man found a pearl and he went and sold everything he had to buy the land where that pearl was. He found the treasure. And that's what the gospel is. The gospel, the salvation of Jesus Christ is that treasure that it's worth, you, you leave everything behind and you run towards the gospel and towards the truth. And I remember whenever I got saved, Nina, where, uh, you know, the thing that really got me was this scripture, it said, First of all, Jesus stands at the door of your heart and he knocks. Well, I got that. And I thought, well, I can open the door of my heart. I was seven years right. old, but I could open my door. I got, I got that. And he will come in and sup with you. So that means he's going to have fellowship with you and, and, and him with, you, you know, you're going to have a relationship with him. But here's what got me up from the back of the church. From the back of the church was... The scripture, this is what the pastor said. He said, if you're ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father in heaven. Now that is like, it was so convicting to me as a seven year old that I got up as shy as I was and I walked to the front of the church and I gave my life to Jesus. And I, you know, that scripture has stuck with me my entire life. And almost anybody who knows me knows I really don't care what you think of me. Yeah. I care about, are you saved? And if you don't like me, that's okay. You probably just really don't like the Lord. I mean, of course, darkness hates light. Yeah, and, and I'm so, not saying you know that I've got some mesmerizing personality <laughs> or whatever. I'm saying that Jesus. You know, I'm talking about Jesus, and and the Bible does say that if you're talking about Jesus and and you're not saved, it's the stench of death to those who are not saved, but the sweet aroma to those who are. So I like you, you G. You can <laughs> thank you. My friend. Thank you. I like you. And <laughs> you cannot take it personally when someone doesn't like you. And you and I both get sup anyway, because we're Italian. And so you know when he <laughs> says come sup with me, right? And so yes, but, I, for sure. And that that's the thing. We you know, food surrounds every single big major time the thing in a Absolutely. And it surrounds Sundays, everything, exactly. you know, got to have Sunday dinner. Well, so, I know. And I've heard somebody say it doesn't matter how important you are, that when when you die, as soon as your 
funeral is over, everybody's going to be eating chicken. You They're know, so excited like, about it. Food <laughs> is the center of everything. Of yes. everything. No yeah. matter what. Yeah, but you ever think about like the truth, it's so important in anything, in our daily life. Like you wouldn't want to be married to somebody who isn't truthful. You wouldn't want to be working with people who aren't truthful and right. above board. You wouldn't want to be you know, like doing something in your own life that goes against the truth or compromising yourself or anything in any way. So, you know, the, when we can't turn on the news and trust the truth to come out in any way, you have to research everything yourself. But when you know the truth about Jesus, and isn't that what this is all about? Because buying it and never selling it, mm -hmm. because if you think about the devil, he's going to do everything to keep you from knowing the truth. He's going to say that was antiquated. The Bible's so old. Those things aren't pertaining to now. And then he comes in with the you know, why is Jesus doesn't love everybody? So wouldn't he just love everybody? You know, in a church, everyone's welcome. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You're welcome in the church, but you're going to get there and you're going to hear the word of God and that's going to bring about repentance and that's mm -hmm. going to get you saved because you're going to hear the truth and the truth is what is going to set you free. Do you know that truth, the word in the Bible when it was translated, I love to go look up those original translations of things. Do you know it transfers as divine reality? Mm. And it's just, isn't that That's so much lot. more yeah. than, divine it's the reality. divine reality of the real thing that happened when Jesus died on that cross. That was the truth. Mm -hmm. He died for you and me to set us free. That's divine reality. That's the truth. Well, I love to think about, you know, our reality, what we're seeing is just one reality. Beyond that curtain, there are, the Bible says, innumerable angels. There are, uh, you know, ministering angels that are sent uh. to minister to the sons and daughters of salvation. We can't see it, but that's reality. The reality is we who are on earth can get in a closet, shut the door, pray, and go boldly into the other reality to the throne of grace to find help in times of trouble. And let me just say, I do it. I do it. I'm yep. like, God, I need you. Lord, I need you. That's the truth. And that is what I would stake my life on. I would stake my life on this Bible. This yep. is the truth. There is nothing that is more true than this word of, I'm telling you, I was talking to a Gen Zer the other day and she said, but it seems like it's antiquated. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, there, the Bible says God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Not one tittle will ever, ever pass away. Yep. That is the truth. You can stake your life on it. I would bet everything on it. Yeah. I would go buy that field with that pearl in it. <laughs> no kidding. I'm convinced. Right? right? Yes. yes. You know what? We are going to take a quick break and we're coming right back. You are watching Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. Stay right there. I'm excited to announce that we're bringing back our best offer ever on our original My Slippers. You save $90 a pair with your promo code. And now My Slippers come in even more sizes smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new styles and colors. Get them for your friends, your family, your neighbors, everyone you know. What makes My Slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not going to find in any other slippers. My Slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help relieve stress on your feet. I'm so confident that you and everyone you know are going to love My Slippers that I'm extending my 60 day money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024, making them the best Christmas gifts ever. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90. That's only $49.98 a pair. Quantities won't last long, so please order now. Welcome back to Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. We're talking about the scripture that says, buy the truth and do not sell it. But listen to this. I saw this, um, this scripture, and it says that it's over in Acts, but it says, 
um, a number of men will arise and distort the truth. Okay, so if you think about what the Bible says, in the end, many will fall away. And, you know, we're seeing that in churches. We're seeing that in so many places right now where, where people are falling victim to all kinds of things like love who you want to love and it's okay. And all of these things aren't relevant today. So think about that, that a number of men will arise and distort the truth. Well, isn't that what the devil even did to Jesus in, out in the desert? If you're this, if you're that, like he's always gonna come with the if, like if the Bible was real or if it was true, like what, you know, what do you think this means right now? That's, those stories are so old. But you know, the Bible is alive and I mean, how in the world, some of the scriptures that we pull up pertaining to something specific that you're going through, that it just like, how in the world could we have read the Bible as many times and never have seen that? Or because it just shows up in your spirit in a different way when you're dealing with something. That's alive. That's what the, that's what the truth is. The Bible, every word of it is alive. Well, I would encourage you to get in the word. If you're not in the word daily, that yes. is, that has to be something that you do every day. And one of the greatest things I ever started doing in my life was reading the Bible. Uh, the, the Bible says, you know, seek first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, and then all things will come to you. And when you get up, get down on your knees, call on the Lord, get your Bible out. Read the word for yourself because just like you're saying, Nina, that, uh, that, that men will become, they will begin to distort the truth. Not only that, uh, miracles will be performed wonders. by satanic prophets. Like that is so scary because that would be tricky. The Antichrist. You know? So mm -hmm. you're going to have to know the word. We are getting in a, we are in a day now where the Bible talks about thick darkness will cover the earth. And in one version of my Bible, it says thick smoke and smoke represents deception. Mm -hmm. And so you, if you don't know this word, even AI, AI by by this year, or neg by 2025, AI will be smarter than a human. By 2029, the AI will be smarter than all humans. So if you don't think AI will be able to get on with a preacher and just say whatever about the word of God, even if that preacher has not said it, that is gonna be tricky. You have to know the word for yourself. I plead with you, get in there. If, if you don't do one thing that we say, except get in the word of God, that is enough. It well, is. And it's true because, it, it, listen, God sent his only son you know, to die for us so we can be reconciled to him. And if you, he desires intimacy with his children. And if we don't how, spend time with him, how would you know anybody? How would you know your spouse, your children, your friends, or your coworkers if you didn't spend time with them and have an invested interest in what they're doing in their lives? You know, Jesus wants to be part of your day in, day out activities. And if you don't take that time and spend that time with him, I promise you when you do, you you are gonna have, your day is gonna go better. We're not telling you everything's gonna be perfect because that is this is a fallen world and we're in this world. But he's gonna lead you, he's gonna show, he's gonna probably protect you for some, some things that, that you didn't even know were coming that day. But if you start your day that way, if you end your day that way, come to his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Seek his wisdom, seek his truth, and get understanding about all of those things so that you have a battle plan and you have a strategy for what's happening right now because it's terrifying what the different things that we're hearing on the daily, on the daily. And so, you know, Michelle, you and I have saw, sought the Lord in so many crazy things that we have done. We have traveled all over the world and some of it were, we were in some crazy places and you know, sleeping with our Bibles on top of us with doors locked, with chairs up to the doors wondering, how did we get to this place? But when we know that God ordered our steps, that we seek him for where we're going and what we need to be doing, he's gonna take care of us. But, yes. but we have wound up in some crazy places, but we've, through those times, 
we have really seen God move and we've seen him show up. And remember that time we, we wound up at some lady's house and it kind of, we couldn't find the house. We, 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 it just GPS kept dumping us off in the middle of nowhere. Kept asking the Lord, you know, show us where the house is because GPS sure isn't showing us, you know, and at some point it just begins to be like a timing issue, you know, that yes. we're like, okay, what it's either, it's either, you know, God's perfect timing or the devil doesn't want us to go there. In which case we're going to buy the truth and say, oh no, you're not stopping us because God said to go there. And so we're going to keep trying and he's not going to stop us from it. And so that's how we are. We're little scrappers in that way. Um, but we wound up getting there mm -hmm. kind of late. Yeah. Like it was getting dark at, at this person's house. And long story short, I mean, they, these, this lady, her husband had left. She was hugging us, crying when we got there. And she, she, she had been devastated. They had been married forever and he left and we started praying. And while we were praying, we thought, well, Who's this guy in the backyard? I go, there's a thug. It's in the backyard. <laughs> We're like, what's happening? <laughs> and he walks in the door and it's her husband and he they're restored while we're praying. He's repentant. Like, if he comes in, he yeah. didn't know us. We didn't know them. There was a first meeting for us for them. Yes. And so, and we ended up spending hours with them and praying yes. over them. And it was- And the, they're still together. The, I saw them on Facebook celebrating an anniversary this week. So hallelujah, Jesus. This is the kind <laughs> of truth you can receive when you spend time with the Lord and he orders your steps or he tells you where you need to go. He tells you the steps to take. He tells you how to be protected. He, he, the Bible shows you how to pray about everything and anything that you need prayer for. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just look up whether you need prayer for anxiety or peace or joy or your kids or, or your job or whatever. There are so many scriptures and about everything. And grab hold of that the word, truth. Mm -hmm. the truth, mm -hmm. and don't let anybody tell you that you cannot have it because if God's word says you can have it, it's for you today. Even if it sounds crazy, you can have it if God's word says you can. And so if you align yourself, it says if you will pray according to the will of God, which this word is the will of God, you come into agreement with the Lord and his word and it shall be done. I really yes. believe you just stand on this word and we're gonna come back in just a moment. I'm excited to announce that we're having our biggest Christmas sale ever. You get our brand new six piece My Towels for only $29.98 or rejuvenate your bed with a My Pillow mattress topper as low as $99.99. Or how about My Pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98? There's something for everyone. Duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. Well, I know my pillow products make for the perfect Christmas gifts, so I'm gonna extend my money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024. So go to mypillow.com now or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get huge discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you get our six piece towels for only $29.98 or get your very own MyPillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98. It's our biggest Christmas sale ever. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. Welcome back to Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. And we are talking all about how we need to buy the truth and sell it not. That's what the scripture tells us to do. And the part about do not sell it, sell it not, that really is don't compromise. Do not compromise anything because when you know the truth and any little thing that sounds the slightest bit off, you know, remember that that the devil lived in heaven. He knows the word. He believes in Jesus. He believes in God. But you know what? We But he will twist that. So you don't compromise. You don't sell that for anything because you know it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what causes us to stand. So you're going to stand for the word, stand for something, or you're going to fall for everything. Because if you don't have that foundation, it's like building your house on the sand and, it, and it, it's never going to last. It's, this is the foundation. The word of God is the truth and you need to know it. You need to get it in your heart. You need to just even if so I'll even go to bed with it, playing the word of God, playing next to my head because it, it can you can be ministered to in the night. The Bible says 
keep the word, stay in the word, watch sermons, get in there as much as you can. Make sure you're, you have a preacher that you're listening to that is lined up with yes. the word of God. Yes. And not some preacher that is New going age. with wind, every wind of doctrine. You don't right. want to be carried away like that or deceived in any way. And I really want to, uh, in this message, talk to you about the parable of the talents. I don't know if you know that story, but a king handed out some talents and uh, he gave you know, some to these different people and they invested or they didn't invest. And when God gives you a talent, he will, if you use it, he will give you more. But many people, you know, are listening and they're not using their talents for God. And I know you want to. I know that there's something inside of you. You know, the Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And sometimes it's, a, it's kind of scary to use your talents because you think, well, who am I to, to do this or to do that? And honestly, it's not about who you are. If God gave you the talent, you need to go forward with it and not be afraid and use the talent that you have. Do not compromise it. Do not sell it. Use it for God's kingdom. Sow your talents back into God's kingdom. And, and I, I always think of it as the sweet spot that when you're using your talents for the Lord, there's not a better place to be in because I, I, I think about it like God has hardwired me to do this and I cannot explain it, but he, yep. it just flows. Yep. That's how it works. You know, whatever that talent is, you know, and Nina seems like she got all the talents. Nina can draw, <laughs> Nina can no. write. Nina, I mean, she has all these talents and I think God just keeps giving her more talents. And honestly, no. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, she's being That's modest, very sweet. Truly. So. She's starting to write children's books and she can illustrate. I mean, amazing. Well, that's glory to God because, you know, you're right when you say that, uh, you know, that what are you doing with what God gave you? Because so many people, you know, you know are like, I can't, I'm too old. I've been, you know, it's yeah. too long. I can't, you know, or it seems impossible. Listen, you know, if God... He ordered your plan and your purpose in a book before you ever lived a day. And you know, he's waiting on you. And if God said it, and he has a plan and a purpose for you, nothing's gonna stop what he ordains for you. And so, so many times, the things that we, we have done in this ministry in 10 years uh, uh, of our show seemed absolutely impossible. Like it made zero sense. And God has made a way, he's brought it to us. And at every time we can say, that was a miracle, that was crazy awesome hand of God because we could not have done that. We have zero ability to make that happen. And he has done all these cool things. Like, so that's how we know Listen, we serve an audience of one. Michelle and I know we have other jobs. This is all about him and this ministry. And it is, we're not gonna sit here and tell you it's easy. The warfare is no joke sometimes. But we know that we are called to do this and to do it together, two or more who are gathered and, and we just trust him. And because we know the word and because we know the truth and, and, and trust me, there's always growth. We all, we, every day you're gonna learn something new. You're never gonna say you made it or you got there yet. That's right. But we are just believing him and trusting him. And every day he just takes us more and more further and further and, and, and shows us what to do and that other people need to know the truth. And that's the job he's given us. So we can share that. And when you're doing that, that and mm -hmm. you're obeying the Lord and you're standing on the truth, no matter what the world says, if everybody's saying it, even your family, yep. you believe this word over them. Yes. It, it, it even says that the word can divide your family. Yep. But, but it also says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You and your household, your prodigals will come back and all of those things. So that's what we stand on. But just know you're gonna rattle some cages when you stand on the truth and you're gonna irritate some people, but they're not really irritated with you they're irritated that they're bothered by the Holy Spirit that is calling out to them, calling them up, calling them to use their talents and calling them to 
stand up for Jesus. So with that, we're gonna pray. So Lord, we just call upon you. We thank you that you love us. Lord, for anyone who does not know you, we ask that they open the door of their heart. Say it out loud that Jesus, I open the door of my heart. I believe in you. You died for me. You rose again. And I ask you to forgive me of my sins. And I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching our broadcast today. We are so excited to have you join us. You can find us all over social media, Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle, Nina Keegan Ministries. We have daily devotions on both pages every day for you to just get filled with the truth, the word of God. And also we're on pray.com and many other stations around the globe. You can check us out. You can find it all out on our website. And also on our ministry pages, you can find out where we are and where we're broadcasting. So uh, stay tuned because you're gonna wanna hear from this amazing message from Daryl Youngblood. He's got a powerful ministry. He is a good friend of ours and he is just serving the Lord. So we love you and we are just grateful for you guys. And also don't forget to leave us your prayer requests. Also tell us what God's doing. If you've been blessed by one of our shows and you have a testimony, we want to hear from you. So God bless you guys. Remember, buy the truth and do not sell it. We, we will see you. you soon. Bye. Does science disprove God? Is there a war between science and faith? We don't need God to create a universe. There's no evidence for God and it's irrational. Is there no evidence for God? Am I delusional for my beliefs? It is delusional and stupid. Am I brainwashed? Do I ignore reason? Logic. Critical thinking. Science. RDOF uses logic and reasoning. RDOF has empowered my sons to defend their faith with facts. If you want to be equipped to defend against the biggest objections to the existence of God, RDOF is the place for you. Has science really ruled out God? Is faith at war with science? If you want to be equipped to respond to these claims and more, check out RDOF.org. The evidence he presents is so powerful and overwhelming. Incredibly compelling, yet easily understandable. We believe in rationality, we believe in reason, we believe in science, and we believe in the existence of God. I would leave every event with a mind-boggling awe and assurance. I never believed in God. I just think it was craziness. RDOF confirmed my faith. RDOF confirmed my uh, full belief, full faith in the Lord, man. The appearance of design in the universe is undeniable. The lights, the crowd, the videos. To book a presentation or watch our free videos, go to rdof.org or find us on Facebook at RDOF Events.